Okay, well, welcome everybody to chakra meditation. So we've been doing a special kind of meditation that is great for charging the chakras, which are subtle energy centers that are throughout our body. And they're very, uh, they're very conducive to meditation because meditation in general gets you out of your head and into your body. And I love chakra meditation because I can really focus on different parts of my body and get in touch with areas that I might have neglected uh, or just you know not really thought about while I was sitting in front of my computer or doing my work. And so for our chakra meditation, we are gonna be focusing, um, we're gonna be balancing all the chakras, but I decided that it would be fun to pick a particular chakra to focus on each week that we meet. And so tonight we're focusing on the second chakra. And we did first last week. So if you missed that, you can find it. Uh, the recorded session is on YouTube and on my Facebook page, if you wanna go and check that out. But tonight, second chakra, and uh, each of the chakras is associated with certain qualities and um, sort of like a personality profile, I guess you might say, of the chakra. And so um, the color associated with the second chakra is orange. That's why I was saying how appropriate Rick is in Orange County, California. That's, uh, that's our definite uh, theme for tonight. And it also, all the chakras have a certain element. The element of the second chakra is water. And the related organs are the bladder, the kidneys, the sexual organs, and the lower back. Uh, the related taste is the sense, the related sense is the taste. And um, there's a, a certain kind of joy de, joie de vivre, I guess you might say, that the second chakra brings to our lives when it's balanced and working correctly. So uh, the quality of the second chakra is sort of being able to uh, really appreciate the, the sensuousness of being a physical being. So all the senses, taste, smell, uh, touch, hearing, everything, all, all having to do with the arts, um, wanting to surround yourself with art and beauty, wanting to have your home filled with beautiful objects, um, cozy touches, snuggly blankets, um, being able to really appreciate the things that are pertaining to the senses and the tactile qualities. And also being able to flow. That sense of the element of water uh, gives the, um, the second chakra, gives us with the ability to be spontaneous and just sort of go with what happens in life and, and being able to relax into changes and not stress. And so um, you might be wondering, well, how is my second chakra? Is it healthy? So I think I've given you some clues here. Um, if you're able to sort of relax into the changes of life, um, enjoy life, if you have great satisfying emotional relationships with others, um, both uh, as a romantic relationship and just in friends and, and family, being able to flow easily in a social sense, that's part of the second chakra as well. Um, being able to really enjoy the feeling of um, treating yourself and indulging yourself. Now, if your second chakra is out of balance, it can be so in either an underactive or an overactive way. So if your chakra is underactive, you might find yourself um, just working all the time, just um, really not being able to break out of your routine and just being stuck in a rut. Um, you sort of hold back even with things that you really might like to do. You just don't allow yourself. You feel like you shouldn't um, give yourself that pleasure or that privilege. You might um, just sit in front of the TV or play video games and just be very uncreative in the ways that you um, have recreation. And you might really dislike change. 
Now on the other end of the spectrum, if your chakra is overactive, you could be uh, really overindulging your senses. So you could be overeating, over drinking, you could be uh, into sexual addictions or pornography. You could be um, addicted to change, like always thrill seeking, not able to hold down a job or stay in one place or have a deep relationship. You might keep changing partners all the time. So either one of these uh, extremes obviously is not the way to go. We wanna see if we can achieve a sense of balance. So there are ways that we can help the second chakra. Besides our meditation tonight, we'll be doing some special clearing techniques. But um, just to give you some ideas in case you think you might need to do some extracurricular work with the second chakra, um, things that you can do um, to indulge yourself that are even possible during this quarantine for COVID-19 we're having. Um, you can wear beautiful color like I'm wearing tonight, uh, especially the color orange, if you think that that might be uh, the chakra you'd like to work on. You can uh, participate in activities with water, like if you can go to a pool and swim, or even just take a really sensuous, beautiful bath with scented uh, salts maybe and light a candle and just really indulge yourself. That is so healing for second chakra. Um, the second chakra can be a repository for a lot of childhood experiences because it sort of comes online in childhood. And so uh, if you were shamed as a child, um, for instance, with potty training or overly strict parenting, that can leave some lasting um, residual in the second chakra. And those uh, baths, we call them clearing baths, can really help. You put in um, sea salt and um, baking soda and just allow yourself to soak in that. And it really cleanses the chakras and helps renew the auric field. Um, other things, uh, just put on some music and dance. And that's what I did right before this session, because like I said, it's been a long winter and just, I really needed to lighten up. So I put on my favorite song and just danced before I came to sit down with y'all. Um, making uh, a new recipe, if you like to cook or, or tasting a new recipe uh, from get a carry out or something and indulge your senses listen to beautiful music, enjoy art, even if you have to do it online, and just really indulge your passion for life and living. So those are my suggestions for uh, tuning up the second chakra. And now I think we should go ahead and start our meditation for the second chakra. So we're going to be going through all the chakras tonight, but we'll have a special uh, lingering session for second chakra. And we'll really sort of um, spend some time working with the breath to clear all the chakras, but particularly the second chakra. So without further ado, let's settle into a really comfortable position wherever you are. Feeling the weight of your body in the chair. And if you like to feel your uh, feet on the floor, I think that is a really great way to connect with the earth energies. You can also sit cross-legged if you prefer. Now let's begin first by slowing and deepening our breath. So let's breathe in and have a long, slow exhalation, breathing out. So the exhalation becomes about twice as long as the inhalation. And on each out breath, imagine the cares of the day, the stress, just falling away and sailing away on that breath. Releasing thoughts and concerns that have occupied your mind. And know that you can pick them up again later. But for now, we are just going to breathe into our body. 
and feel into the body. Inhale again, drawing the breath deep into your lungs. With each breath feeling more relaxed, comfortable and at peace. And now become aware of your feet against the floor. And be aware of the great, beautiful planet Earth underneath the floor, supporting you. It's the source of your energy for your life force. And that's the energy that we are going to draw upon to clear and charge each one of your chakras. So I'd like you to imagine that your feet are becoming heavy and sinking down into the floor like you were on a sandy beach. And imagine your feet growing roots now, searching down into the earth and beginning to invite a flow of healing, stabilizing energy to enter through the soles of the feet, drawing it up now and feeling the warmth and relaxation begin to enter the bones of the feet and the ankles, relaxing away any tension there. And filling you up now, entering the calf muscles. You might tense and relax those muscles to just feel the cares of the day melting away as you invite this flow of earth energy to fill them, warming and relaxing the muscles. And now entering the knees and smoothing out any tension in those joints that work so hard to carry you through the day. And inviting the flow now to enter into the thigh muscles tensing and relaxing the thighs, inviting that soothing, warm current of energy to continue to fill your system. And now we find ourselves centering on our seat in the chair. And this is the very important first one of our energy centers, the first chakra that circles with red glowing energy and light at the base of our spine and throughout the pelvic floor. And this first chakra connects us to life itself. So as you draw upon the energy of the planet, visualize or imagine that that swirling red energy is refreshing and stabilizing your entire spine, pelvic area, hips, and your seat in the chair. And feel a sense of peace, stability, and safety, safety, allowing yourself to feel truly present in this moment. When the first chakra is connected to earth, we feel a sense of calm and peace. And now slowly breathe in and draw the energy higher into the belly, the location of the sacral chakra, the second chakra, also known as Svadhisthana the word from Sanskrit describing this important center. And I, as you follow this portion of the energy field around two to three inches below the navel, I invite you to visualize a small point of light beginning to emerge in the center of this area. It's small but radiant. And as you breathe into this area, see the light expanding and its dimensions beginning to grow. 
See it starting to form into a vibrant circular ball of radiant orange light and energy. As you inhale, visualize that your breath is being drawn down your spine and into this brilliant orange orb of light. With each inhalation, that ball grows lighter and brighter, expanding and becoming more vivid. Now you see that the second chakra is beginning to open. You can see a vibrant orange energy swirling like waves, flowing in a constant clockwise fashion. See the vivid orange waves, the vibrancy of the Svadhisthana pulsing, swirling, radiating outwards as you balance the chakra. Now inhale slowly and deeply. And as you do, focus on your breath. See it, feel it traveling down your spine and into the sacral area at the base of the spine. Hold this breath. Now, as you slowly begin to release the breath, visualize the breath. Now a vibrant orange energy traveling back up the spine and exiting through the crown of your head. Slowly allow this process to happen. And as you exhale the orange waves of energy, you also exhale and clear blocks and barriers to this life force energy. As you balance the chakra, you release old behavioral patterns and emotions that no longer serve your higher good. Inhale again now deeply, slowly. Focus on your breath as it travels down your spine and into the second chakra. Hold this breath. And again, slowly release the breath, exhaling, seeing the breath flowing like a stream, flowing back up the spine and exiting through the crown of your head. Visualize as you exhale that breath flowing as a stream, this orange river of energy washing away, clearing all blocks, letting negative emotions and trauma breathe, release. Again, inhale slowly, deeply, focusing on your breath as it travels down the spine and into the second chakra. Hold this breath. Slowly release the breath. And as you exhale, see your breath flowing like a stream, flowing up the spine and exiting through the crown. Visualize as you exhale the breath, a flowing stream orange rivers of energy washing away, clearing all blocks, releasing negative emotions and trauma. Now bring your focus back to the center of the second chakra in the belly. See that vivid orange energy swirling like water in a clockwise direction. Visualize those waves of vibrant orange energy spreading outward, the waves maintaining their clockwise motion. See that energy flowing and spreading wider, filling your entire body. Visualize these waves filling your aura and recharging all the important organs in this area of the body. Now enjoy the feeling of this open and flowing second chakra. As we begin to draw the energy up further into our waist area, 
where we'll now visit the third chakra or solar plexus chakra between the navel and the breastbone. Visualize or imagine a beautiful golden yellow light here as you breathe into this area. Seeing the light growing brighter and clearer with each breath. This chakra is all about your relationships, your ego and personal power. Take another deep breath into this area and feel your power center growing brighter and stronger. Allow this golden yellow light and energy to replenish and revitalize all the important internal organs in this area allowing your power center to become balanced and vibrant. Beautiful. And now breathe again and move the energy up further to your heart center, right in the center of your chest. Picture a beautiful green color circling and sending out energy and receiving energy. It's the color of fresh spring green grass and leaves. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, am I able to both give and receive love? Do I allow myself the love and forgiveness that I extend to others? Our hearts are open anytime we love. You could love a concept, an object, a place, a pet, a person, I now invite you to evoke that feeling of love by visualizing that special idea that makes your heart expand with love and feel that beautiful green energy expanding and swirling throughout the chest cavity, enlarging your ability to give and receive love. And now breathe again and bring the energy up further to the throat chakra. A beautiful blue color is swirling here around the throat, the neck, entirely encompassing you in a beautiful cobalt blue color. This is the important seat of the blueprint of your physical body and the center of your self-expression. Here at the throat is where you communicate, not your feelings and thoughts only, but actually the creativity that you generate from the second chakra. All the passion, all the ideas, they must be released here through the throat. So take a deep breath into this area and feel and see that beautiful blue color cleansing and clarifying your channel of self-expression. Beautiful. And now intend for that energy to move up further through the jaw, the nose, the eyes, the ears, and coalescing at a point in the center of the forehead between your eyebrows. There's a beautiful violet color here. And as you take a deep breath into this area, see that color circling ever so gently, bringing in information and energy to the third eye, the seat of your wisdom and discernment. This chakra has themes of truth and intuitive sight, clairvoyance, detachment from the small personal mind and openness to a higher self, a mind that lets us connect to the field of universal information. Breathing deeply into this area, intend to become open to your internal guidance. Feel your wisdom and intuition expanding 
as you breathe yet again into this area. And next, let's move the energy to the very top of our head, to the crown chakra. This is the seventh chakra and it's a golden white light in this area, which opens up and expands outwards like a beautiful fountain. Breathe into this area right on the top of your head, the area of your connection to spirit and your higher ideals. As you breathe, feel this area expanding. Here is where you connect to your higher self, to your spirituality, and to the entire universe. The connection that you feel through prayer and meditation, faith and inspiration grows stronger as you expand the energy of this area. And now I'd like to show you how to build a sphere of protection around you. This is really easy to do. Simply intend to expand this crown chakra and see the energy growing stronger and brighter, expanding up and out and around and flowing down all sides of your physical body, down the front, down the back, down the left, down the right, and all the way down under your feet until you find yourself completely encased in a beautiful bubble of brilliant white light, a cocoon of your highest and best energy. This energy field will follow you wherever you go. And now we're going to spend a few minutes in silent meditation, allowing this beautiful healing energy that we've generated to circle and cycle. And this will be the time when the deepest healing will manifest. So at this time, I invite you to mentally revisit the chakras that we've covered or to use a favorite mantra or focus on the breath. And if you have thoughts that pass by, simply observe them and then return to your chosen point of focus. And I'll check back on you in a few minutes.
And now with your eyes still closed, hear and silently repeat these healing affirmations for the second chakra. I love and enjoy my body. I am open to experiencing the present moment with all of my senses. I am passionate and have healthy boundaries. I feel pleasure with every breath I take. I nourish myself and take care of my needs in the healthiest ways. I value and respect my body and myself. And now I invite you to slowly begin to move fingers and toes, reconnecting with your entire body. And when you feel ready, gently open your eyes. And that concludes the recorded portion of our program of chakra meditation.